Do I doubt you've read this morning's papers? Yes, yes, I did. Has he made contact? Yes. Then? Later. Of course. You deceived me. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. You deceived me. I had lunch with him. So what? You... I should have been told. That's what. You didn't give me a chance. Oh, oh come on. Well, he's my husband. I haven't seen him in three years. I gave him two hours of my time. Now, I don't owe him much, but I figure I owe him that. Look, I just don't want a ghost of the past coming between us. Not now. Do you think I do? No. Right. He says he's given up writing. It'd be easier for him to give up breathing. <laughs> well, he got himself a headline. That's not the reason he said it. He wants Jesse and I back. You're not going to believe that old line, surely? No. He's won every other bloody award. Obviously, now he wants to win Father of the Year. I call him what you want. As a husband, he's got a lot to answer for, but he was a good father, and I'll not have you denigrate that. Hello? Who was it? No one. Well, where is she? Jesse, will you come and eat your dinner, please? but I'm starting. What's happened? Nothing. Nothing, hmm? Jesse, I see you've invited someone for dinner. May I ask who it is? Jonathan, please. My daddy. Oh, that's very sweet. Seeing you haven't seen him in um, three years. I saw him yesterday. Can we talk about this later? No. I'm a reasonable man. Very. I have a good job. I have many admirable attributes. And yet somehow I still feel like a second class citizen in this house. Well, no more. I hope this is not irrevocable. Love is not a word I was brought up to use. I am not a brilliant writer. Or a gifted speaker. Jonathan, but I know what I feel. And given half a chance.